J'ai perdu tous ceux que j'aimais. Puis ils m'ont enfermé. A l'occasion de la sortie de Sucker Punch, ce sont nouveaux délires visuels dans lequel les rêves prennent le pli sur la réalité. Le réalisateur, scénariste, producteur Zack Snyder s'est prêté au jeu de notre Starbucks. Que cherches-tu Un moyen de sortir. Je vais t'aider à te libérer. L'occasion de parler de Sucker Punch, mais aussi de Superman, de Chris Nolan et de Xerces, c'est l'hypothétique suite de 300. This is Sparta Vous avez été nombreux à poser vos questions, mais peu ont été élus par le hasard, car le temps nous a cruellement fait défaut. Ok, so hustle up. Uh, Ross fan. How did you find the original idea for this storyline? Uh, your movies prove your love for visual art. Will Superman be produced in the same way? I knew I had a song and I and I had this idea that oh you know maybe music could be this bridge to another world. Maybe when the music turns on, you in your head, the music actually takes you into another world. And then when the music stops, the world stops. So that was the way that was like this string that I had. And then uh, the rest of it kind of got built on top of that. I really want to make Superman feel more real, I guess is a weird way of saying it. And so, you know, it'll probably be have more locations and more sort of less stylized reality. Lightheart. You've started with a remake or adaptation. Is it a real satisfaction to have your own original script? And what do you think about all these remakes and adaptations which Start boring the audience. Well, that is a good question. I, yeah, no, I think that it is, you know, having your own script is cool and it's fun. You know, it's, we talked about the, the one thing that's interesting to me is that, you know, you think that when you make your own script, it's like, oh, it's the most personal thing ever. And it is, but it's weird because it, it, what it really makes me realize is that I feel the same way about all the movies I make. <laughs> And as far as the, all these remakes go, you know, uh, Hollywood is always looking for a sure thing and it's difficult, so they just want to take something off the shelf. It's easier. Le Bougre. After your excellent 300 uh, with almost only men, you choose to direct a group of women in Sucker Bunch. Was it the same experience for you? By the way, after Superman, Man of Steel, Is there any chance you direct Xerxes? Uh, directing the girls was awesome. Uh, comparatively, I don't know if it, there's a comparison to be had. Um, the guys are all sweaty and uh, a little bit gross. And the girls are awesome, so there's that part of it. I, I tortured them in the gym and I tortured them on set and they stood up to it with great resolve and did, they did an amazing, amazing job. And I, everything that I asked them, they did perfectly. So. And that way I can't complain at all. Um, well, I've written the screenplay for Xerxes. And uh, so as far as um, whether or not I'm directing it, I don't know. I, it's, it'd be whether I can just make the time. Il y a des gardes armés partout. Et si Blue s'en aperçoit, on est morte. Neo the Kid. How is your collaboration with Christopher Nolan on Superman? How is it? When could we see the first picture? Interesting. Chris and I have um, uh, been having quite a bit of fun um, talking about Superman, and Chris has been um, amazingly generous. He just re he really wants me to make my movie, but again, he's there if I have a, like a, an idea or something. Hey, Chris, what do you think of this? So that's fun. Uh, well, we don't start shooting till uh, August, which is actually quite soon when you think about it. In the it's almost April, so I guess kind of soon. <laughs> One more. Albedor. Would you like to make your own comic book series one day or do you have plans? I have been asked a couple of times to make a comic book series or a comic book and I would be interested in it. I just haven't had time honestly to uh, to put something together but um, yeah I would love to make a comic book. I think that'd be fun. Nous verrons donc si Zack Snyder trouvera le temps de mener à bien tous ses projets. En attendant, Sucker Punch sortira en salle le 30 mars prochain. Avis aux amateurs. Qui ne défend rien, cède à n'importe quoi.